Today is the Mario Kart Live Home Circuit unboxing and first impressions. Hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, kick off your shoes and relax your socks while we check out this bad boy. Now I must admit, this has come as a complete surprise to me. I actually went down for lunch today and my wife comes out the living room with a big Christmas present and she says to me, I got you this for Christmas, but I think you're gonna wanna open it today. Now, I usually don't like opening Christmas presents before Christmas, but I could tell with the way she was saying it that I should open it today. And I did, and it was this, and I was absolutely blown away. I mean, I am so psyched to open this and give it a spin. So enough chatting, let's do some unboxing. Right, okay, so, well, first of all, let's take a look at the box. I mean, it's a pretty decent size. I, I wasn't sure how big the actual car itself was gonna be. I was hoping it wasn't gonna be small and flimsy, but looking at this box, I think it's gonna be a pretty decent size to be fair. And it's the usual kind of box style that we have now with Nintendo. And it looks like a good quality box as well. We've got like the nice Nintendo branding on there. We've got Mario on the front here. This is the Mario edition, it's not the Luigi one. So on the back actually, you can see here we've got some details. We've got um, an example of it being plain, played with the Switch, um, some instructions there for how to set up, and some further instructions there for like power-ups and stuff. So some nice detail on the back there actually. On the side we've got some um, pictures of people playing with it with some interesting tracks set up. I mean, who's gonna have a track set up like that? I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be some YouTube videos of people, but you know, we don't all have that much space in our house with that much um, interesting funky stuff to put around, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do my best to make some interesting tracks. And here we've got the um, contents of the box, Mario, the Mario Kart, the four cardboard cutouts and these arrow markers. So I guess they indicate maybe direction or something. I can't remember from the video what they actually are, but we'll, we'll have a look in the box in a minute. And a USB cable. And then on the bottom, just the usual gubbins that you get. So let's open this bad boy up. Uh, let's try and get a good angle so then we can uh, all enjoy what's going on. Now I like, there's no stickers on this. I, I don't like it when I've got to rip off a sticker with the fear of tearing the cardboard. So no stickers and a nice easy flap to open there. Let's get this the right way around. And there we go. First off, we've got, um, I say instruction booklet, this is as good as you get for instruction booklets these days, but this is what it looks like. First download the software, so instructions on how to get the game, the software installed. Um, nice and long, <laughs> unnecessarily long. So we'll just pop that over there. Next up, we've got a USB cable. So I'm guessing this is to charge it, like a standard um, micro USB cable there. Put that there. And straight in, it looks like next up is the car. You can see there it's packaged in there with one of those elaborate boxes that you can never manage to fold back into the right shape, can you? Let's get this whole bad boy out. Now, I want to try and open this with being not destructive to the box, or at least as least destructive as I can be. You know, if we all had this foresight when we were kids, we would have all, we'd all have pristine inbox consoles now, wouldn't we? Okay, that was easy enough. Let's fold that back up. There we go. Pop that down there. So, already, it's not out the bag. It's already looking pretty chunky, like it's a decent size. I'm liking this. Nicely wrapped as well, nicely protected. Let's get this out and... There it is. There is the bad boy himself, Mario. Check that out. That is... That is brilliant. That is really good. The detail on Mario is amazing. It's really good. I really like the look of this. Like I said, I was worried that it was going to be like maybe small, flimsy, but this is this is solid, nice and chunky in the hand as well. Really good. And it looks like, now I don't know, because I'm going to have to obviously do some testing with it, but I didn't know how well it would fare on carpets because all the trailers that I've seen are all on like hardwoods or like tiled surfaces. But this size and the tires, it looks like this could be all right on carpet, to be honest. Slower, I'm guessing, but if it works, that would be nice. What have we got here? We've got like something that looks like a bit of a petrol cap. Let's see what that does. I think, is that the USB? 
Oh no, that's a button. Oh, a light come on on the back. So I'm guessing, oh, and it's turned blue now. I'm guessing maybe is this to um, sync it? Let's see, can you see that? The lighting's a bit off today because I'm filming this at a different time than I usually would because I'm just so excited and want to um, <laughs> get this bad boy out and played with. So I'm guessing, yeah, that must be what you press to sync it with your switch. And I'm guessing if I hold it down a second time, we should be able to switch it off. Yep, we can. And on the side, there's a little flap here as well. So that is where you stick the USB in. There we go. And it slides down nicely. So a really like solid yet simple design. We've got the camera on the top there as well. The camera looks nice. Great position on the camera. Um, nice and big as well. So we should be getting a good, good image from that, I'm guessing. You're going to need to have a good image though, aren't you? If you're going to be racing this as a video game, if you're going to be racing it like Mario Kart, it's got to look good. So I'm guessing that's going to be a decent camera there. And overall, it just looks great. I've got like a few of those um, Mario Kart Hot Wheels, the little ones, or like the wine back ones as well. And it just looks like a bigger version of that. This is so cool, man. So cool. Right, so we'll pop this down here. And let's get on with what is left. Okay, only one more thing in here, and that looks to be all the cardboard pieces. So we'll pop that there. Let's just move this box out of the way for a minute. It'll do there. So, okay, now this is something I wasn't sure about, the cardboard. Now, I know Nintendo have gone down this path of using cardboard for the Labo and stuff. It's obviously cheaper for them, it's recyclable, but, you know, we're not going to be bidding this stuff, are we? Um... But I've I've not used any Labo and I'm not sure if this is going to be flimsy. This is my most, this is my biggest concern to be honest. So let's have a look. All seems to be packaged up quite nicely. All right, we've got, um, so these must be the checkpoints. We've got number one with a banana. We've got out of order. Number two with the shells. Number three with the mushrooms. And number four, with the, co uh, with the coins. I almost said cones then, <laughs> coins. And then we've got these speed strips. Yeah, I can't remember what these speed strips do. But these look like they just, these just like are folded and they look like they just pop out straight away, like a triangle shape. So they're nice and easy. I can't see them getting damaged too much. They look pretty solid. The cardboard's pretty decent as well. Yeah, you can bend it if you're not careful, but it looks solid enough. So, so far so good. We've got two of those speed strips. Now, let's see how easy it is to open up one of these checkpoints. Let's go for number one. So it looks like it's folded in here. I think I remember from the video, they just slide out, don't they? Gently, okay. One leg. Two leg, that's pretty big actually. So, okay, we've got like a so we've got a flap there on both sides and there is oops there's a little notch there i'm guessing if i push this out oops, let's be careful i don't want to wreck it before i've even used it let's put it down if i push this out yeah that flattens and i think we should be able to fold this bad boy in here boom done and this one Oh, be more careful than I am. That bad boy in there, and that one's a bit stiffer. But we are in. Sweet. And there we go. There is a checkpoint. Okay, that seems pretty solid. Stands pretty well. Easy to set up. Now, like I said, I can imagine this getting knocked over and especially with kids around this could take a bit of a beating so you know we're gonna have to see how this fares over time but i think the good thing about it is i, I did hope these were going to be plastic but in reality i guess the good thing about it is is that it's lightweight it's easy to to carry around and move about but also if you do rip it in terror or it does get bent i guess it's not that difficult really to just repair it with a little bit of sellotape or maybe add a little bit of extra cardboard on it as a bit of support you might lose the look of it a little bit and 
I do wonder how much of this the obviously the camera recognizes and it has to be a certain way but I'm guessing it's um it should be pretty sturdy and quite repairable but yeah we'll have to see about this one mario kart himself solid i can't see this bad boy i'm suffering too much but we'll have to see <laughs> we'll have to see how the cardboard fares but it's taken a few knocks already from me and it seems all right right now let's see how easy it is to, sh to knock down or to, to put back down so okay pops out quite easy no problems there Say this one was a bit stiffer before so there we go and that's popped out and if we flatten these and i'm guessing they go side by side oops that was sticking out and this one there we go nicely done now, as this came a day early, the software itself is not actually available on the eShop yet. So if you want to find out the review about this and see how good it is and if it works on carpet and all that good stuff, then you're going to have to check out the next episode, which will be coming in a couple of days. And if you want to find out when that drops, then hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Meanwhile, while you wait for that, there's plenty of other episodes to check out around here. And if you want to show some support to the channel, then you can check out the Patreon page just like these guys. A big thank you to my Patreon supporters who help make these videos possible, including Hilazing Retro Gaming and Jack Mawson. If you want to show your support for Chronic Spartan games, then you can head on over to chronicspartan.com and check out our indie games. You can become a Chronic Spartan patron at patreon.com, or you can kick off your shoes and relax your socks with some Chronic Spartan merch from tpublic.com. All links are in the description below. But the simplest and easiest way to show your support is to just hit that subscribe button. Thank you for tuning in.